This movie will highlight the Teledyne PDS trailing suction hopper dredge application, how to set up a configuration, and the real-time acquisition with its specific views. Let's have a look to the configuration of a trailing suction hopper dredge. From the configuration, we open the vessel configuration in which the hopper has been set up. In the geometry page, the shape of the vessel is added. The shape is used for visualization in the real-time acquisition and can be a DXF, SketchUp, or 3DS drawing. In addition, here we add all the offsets needed, such as the GPS antenna, the inlet position, the draft sensors, hopper level sensors, aft and forward perpendicular offsets. Click on the 2D Overview button to open the PDS Vessel Contour Editor. Besides providing in an overview of the added offsets, the Vessel Contour Editor is used to create the proper vessel contours which are needed for the profile views in acquisition. Vessel contours can be created manually, or DXF files can be imported. Next, the Equipment page. In the Equipment page are all necessary device drivers added, which we use on the trailing suction hopper. Device drivers are added from the related device group. From the Dredge Positioning System device group, the appropriate driver is selected to compute the drag head position. PDS provides in a variety of drivers, generic, custom-made, and for different protocols and formats. From the Dredge Process Device Group, drivers can be added to read data from auxiliary dredge systems. From the Dredge Production Group, drivers to read velocity and density data to monitor the production. From the Dredge Status Group, drivers to indicate dredge statuses accordingly to a defined status matrix. From the Dredge Vessel Info Group, drivers to read additional vessel data such as the fuel tank level. From the Load and Draft Group, drivers to read the vessel's draft and hopper levels to compute the tons dry solid. From the I.O. port configuration, the appropriate I.O. is set up. A variety of protocols are supported such as CAN, OPC UA, Modbus, OPC, In the Computations page of the Vessel Configuration, we can add advanced computations optionally. Switch easily between data sources through the Data Source page. For example, making the Load and Draft Driver the primary source to compute the vessel sea level. The Guidance page allows the user to specify its specific guidance files, such as routes, run lines, waypoints, but also for dredge, the work area, restricted areas, and design models. From the Tool, Production Parameters page, we can configure the production-related parameters. These parameters are used to compute the tons dry solid. The empty ship weight can be set, but can also be computed by PDS through the load and draft calibration discussed later. The draft, bending, and ballast tables can be edited. The same applies to specify the hopper table. A datum point is set and a table defined. The Trip Registration page allows to specify the trip registration. Define when a trip is started. Define what kind of registration is desired, such as a track plot, a DXF track file, a specified tons dry solid, TDS, reporting, or a fuel consumption report. The reporting is in a PDF format. The suction pipes are configured in the Pipe Configuration page. Here we configure for each pipe segment the measure up and the shape. And as last in the Tools page of the Vessel Configuration, the Dredge Logging Settings page. This page allows to define how and when updating the Active Grid model. The Active Grid model to update is set, the update condition, which is for a hopper dredge usually, digging. The condition when to update, which is usually, always, and the mode, which is usually set to tool Z value. With these settings, the active grid model is always updated if the drag head is under the current active grid model and updates it with the current height of the drag head. In the data logging device, we should add the used dredge positioning system. 
If we open the logging page in the vessel configuration, different logging formats can be set. By enabling a format to log, additional options opens on the page. For example, enabling the DXF format will open an option to specify the DXF file name or enabling the production format, an option to set the grid model file name and the device to use for the production logging opens. Enabling the dredge track format will open the option to set the sample rate for it. Once the configuration is completed, you can start dredging. Let's have a look to PDS real-time acquisition in a trailing suction hopper dredge. In this example, we see a defined screen layout. A screen layout is totally configurable, as well as how many displays to be used on your hopper dredger. Each display can have its unique layout with the relevant views. Right-click in the title bar and add from the Add Display menu option the view to add to your layout. PDS offers a variety of views which can be added. From the Plan View group, we add, for example, the Dredge Construction Operation view to provide in a top view of the dredge. From the Profile group, we can add different profile views, such as a real-time design, a real-time pipe, and a real-time pipe vertical view. From the 3D view group, the online dredge construction presenting the dredge in 3D. From the dredge construction group, the dredge flow concentration meter, the dredge load and draft view, and the dredge control bar. In this example, a screen layout was defined with a dredge control bar, dredge status view, dredge load and draft, a dredge flow and concentration meter, a plan view, a profile view, and a 3D view added. The plan view visualizes the hopper dredge from top with, in general, the active grid model in the background, updated in real time as soon the logging is enabled. A different color mode can be set for the active grid model. Most used modes are Z average, representing the current seafloor height. Z differential. Color mode Z differential visualizes the difference between the active grid model height and the design model height, as an indication the dredge is according to the design. Dredge tolerance. Color mode dredge tolerance visualizes if the dredge is within the defined under and over dredge tolerances related to the design model. These models are colored according to color tables, which can be select from the coverage settings. Enable the interactive mode and double-click on the color table bar to open the color table generator in real time from which the selected color table can be edited. Like any view in PDS, additional information can be added to the view by adding the applicable layers through the view and layer control. For example, adding a web map chart layer for navigation. The 3D view. The 3D view can show the same information as the plan view, but now in 3D. Dredge statuses are shown in the dredge status view. They can be set manually or set automatically depending on sensor information. Next, the flow concentration view, indicating the density, flow, and production. Then in the bottom left, the profile view has been added. The view visualizes the hopper dredge with the dredge head, the design model as a raster, the grid model in gray, and the over and under dredge tolerance in a green and red line. Multiple up-down indicators can be added to the view to indicate any data items, such as the height of the dredge head. Right, click on an up-down indicator to add a new one or to edit an existing. Multiple properties of the indicator can be customized. From the data source attribute, the item to show can be chosen from the data tree.
In this example are two up-down indicators added, one to show the difference between the design and drag head height, and one to show the actual height of the dredge head. Click on the plus or minus sign to add or remove up-down indicators. Next, the dredge control bar view. The dredge control bar view allows in quick selection of a design model and an active grid model. Next, the load and draft view. The load and draft view consists of a time series display, a numerics display, and different tab pages to show the load, draft, and tons dry solid information. Click on the Load tab to show in the numeric display the load-related values and computations. Open the Draft Sensor tab to show the draft values and the sensor residuals with the calculated draft plane. Open the TDS tab to show the computed tons, dry solid, hopper volume, density, and mean hopper level. Open the Hopper Sensor tab to show the hopper levels and the sensor residuals with respect to the calculated hopper level plane. Load, Volume, TDS, and Dredge status are shown graphically in the time series pane. In addition are the vessel trim values shown as yellow bars at the left and top of the view. Also, the guidance can be set in real time. Open the Guidance menu. In the Guidance Settings dialog, all hopper dredge related guidance can be set or edited, such as routes, restricted areas, and work areas. Through the layer system are the selected guidance files shown in the views. PDS provides in the functionality to calibrate the suction tubes, load and draft sensors, and the empty weight of the vessel. Calibration is from the Tools, Tools Calibration menu. The Calibration dialog opens. Select the Suction Tubes page to calibrate the upper and lower pipe. If the vessel is equipped with a port and starboard side suction tube, then two suction tube pages are shown in the calibration dialog. From both the upper and lower pipe, the bearing and the inclination can be calibrated. For calibrating the bearing, the suction tube is placed in the gradle. The bearing calibration offsets are measured and entered in the set point box. The calibrate button is pressed to calibrate the bearing. For calibrating the suction tube inclination are two methods available. Pipe on the waterline, or with the pipe in the cradle and measuring the vertical angle relative to the vessel. In this example, we select the method Pipe on Waterline. The pipe must be placed on the waterline, as schematically indicated. When the Calibrate button is pressed, the pipe is calibrated to have an inclination of zero degrees. Open the Load and Draft tab page to calibrate the load and draft. For the load and draft calibration, you must enter the aft and forward perpendicular readings, and next, the port and starboard height, and the width between these two points. The drawings indicate schematically the necessary values to enter. After the values are entered, click on the Calibrate button to compute the sensor correction values. Be sure the vessel is empty and the bottom doors are open. Both the computed sensor calibration values and the vessel empty weight are applied. If only the vessel empty weight need calibration, then press the Empty Weight Calibrate button. It is assumed the sensor correction values are correct. Beware the vessel is empty and the bottom doors are open. Also, the reporting is covered in PDS. In the vessel configuration, you can set up interval logging, statistic reporting, and the trip registration. Several options are available to define your trip registration. Depending on the trip registration configuration, a report will be created at the end of a trip, which might look like this example. 
the trailing suction hopper dredge application in PDS, providing in all needed views, tools, and features. Contact us for more information.